Good morning. I'd like to talk about potential. Um, potential in anything and kind of talk about manifestation and investments and currency and frequency and real to real and even in the thought of an idea, particles, um, digital versus tangible, um, a lot of people have a difficulty understanding digital currency and I find from a spiritual perspective um, studying how thoughts become things, it's much easier for me to relate to digital currency than tangible currency. Um, uh, I have even my own weaknesses in struggling with money concepts sometimes. Um, I'm very good at physical speaking with people and making sales. Um, but I'm also very good at being my own best friend and taking a thought and turning it into something physical. So I had a struggle of the concept of money being like a paper thing and the idea of, I guess, how we were brought up chasing it or needing to hold it or touch it or see it to believe it. Um, but with the digital currency, it makes life much easier because we all start as children with imagination. And from imagination, everything can be created into something with enough practice. And I think what I love about this legacy builder that I'm involved in is that it takes the mind and a small investment to be able to practice yourself into the belief and from a very small thing, even as a child with a lemonade stand, but it doesn't have to be anything big. You just need something that creates more. Um, so it wouldn't make a difference between a $900 investment, which can be even hard for some people, but it's very small when you think about business in general as versus a $9 million investment. It's just digits. Um, it's just zeros on the end. So long as it's something that has worth and value and that people want, you just have to practice and learn to share the value and the um, what you get out of what it is uh, to be able to flip it, I guess, like a house. Um, it, it takes practice to explain to someone why to buy an investment of a house that looks beat up on the outside but is very well constructed and just needs some paint and TLC to flip it into say say making twenty thousand or a hundred thousand profit with some elbow grease. And that we understand because it's something physical, we can see it to believe it. But it's no different to take a $900 investment with Legacy Builder and learn the information in Legacy Builder to get your mind understanding digital economy, understanding digital products, understanding back to the basics of how you take a thought and you turn it into something. Um, we can relate this to a poet 
or a musician or a writer where they construct thoughts into words and the words go onto paper and then they sell this story that they had in their heart to make it relatable to other people who relate to the story and identify themselves with it and want to hear it or read it because it captures their heart and their mind or allows them to drift into another space um, to enjoy the experience. And that's what Legacy Builder also teaches us to do is to become our own best friends. Uh, I'm terrible at this in some ways because I don't spend a lot of time in the mirror. And with the camera, I have to speak to myself in this phone. Um, but it also is cool because it's like the consciousness says we are all one and an expansion of ourselves. And you have to be real. You have to be real to and your own best friend. Speaking to your own best friend, <clears throat> so you can only speak the truth and you can only be honest with yourself and talk about what you're learning or what the benefits and value you get out of this into the camera. And then um, from that belief, and you get deeper all the time, um, that's what makes a real more better because others can identify with what you're saying. And it, it gets stronger. I mean, there's lots of other stuff on social media. But when it comes to uh, things of the heart and things people want other than entertainment, they're looking for something they can relate to themselves. And like lyrics, um, we listen to a song over and over again because it gets in our heart. Um, when you start to study the Legacy Builder, you start to see yourself in it, and it gets to your heart, and then you talk about it, like anything you love, and you want to share it because it made such an impact on yourself that you want to help others to see the value in it so that they can level up and grow with it as well. And that's why you see a lot of us so excited about it, but when we're in the infant stage of it, we talk about it, but it's like, what are you talking about? I don't know. It's this thing that just, I can't believe how amazing it is until we start digging into the information and that digs and pulls things out of us so that we can grow <laughs> and it takes time. Like any investment, you want to take your time um, because you don't want your investment to be lost. This is the same. There's a risk, a smaller risk, but, but it has no extra expenses. Once you purchase it, then you take your time with it. The risk is letting it sit there, do nothing, and your investment is still good, but but it's could be losing value every day because the others growing in it are learning and getting ahead, and it's just sitting there and not gaining momentum or not growing. Um, kind of like a car, you purchase it, put it in the yard. Um, if you're not using it to make more money, it, it starts rusting. <laughs> so. So, so the ex initial excitement can start rusting. So you got to start looking at it and reading it and studying it so that you can grow into the information. So you feel happy enough to start talking about it and sharing it and doing something with it. Um, and 
and I, if you did compare the nine hundred dollar investment to a nine million dollar investment to a bigger corporation or something, you would not, with bigger numbers behind it, zeros to like in comparison. I don't think you would let that money sit, and you also wouldn't want to rush into something to lose that nine million dollars. So you would want to look at this as if it was nine million dollars. Actually, you look at life that way with everything. That's what gives something value, and that's what makes something worth taking care of or, or doing. Um, so I had a point about this. I could hit pause. Um, that's another thing when you get on camera is you have all these thoughts, you hit record, and then it's hard to keep them going, I guess. <laughs> like it's, it's like it just leaves. It's easier to think than it is to speak. Um, so that is a practice. And another thing too is you're always conscious in the camera, but it gives you confidence to express yourself and uh, talk anyways because when the information is important it doesn't matter what you look like it's that you get the message across um, but it also helps you take better care of yourself when you got to go in front of the camera but where I'm going with this is the, I was listening to a lady, um, Ellen Hamilton, and she was talking about how she was homeless and had nothing, and then she started taking her mindset more serious, and she didn't care if she would go without food. She wanted to build her mind and become money. She said, it doesn't matter if I don't eat. I'm go Nobody can take what's in my head away from me. And I am going to become money. And, th and that's where it comes from. The etheric. Um, we have difficulty with money. Because of what's been put into our mind. But in some way we have a new opportunity with digital money. Because it's etheric and digital products because it's etheric and it's like our imagination. And if we can think it, we can believe it. And when we believe it, we can make it happen. And something new is easier. Um, not even, I, I think it's so much easier for the mind um, to create. And I, I'm getting better at it all the time. Um, without the paper dollar um, to do things I need to get done. And somehow what I need appears. And if that's how even I remember tips and money when I was working, the less I thought about the money and got obsessed about the feeling and the enjoyment and the sharing the more money just came and filled the tip jar and without me even looking at it or thinking about it um, and wages increased and yeah but the tip jar was the best because um, I received tips because of uh, people just love the warmth and the sh caring and, and the storytelling and, and the genuine sincerity. Um, tips are a great thing. I, I never received tips before because I never had a job where tips were part of something. Well, I guess I even got tips when tips weren't even thought of to be tips just because of value. person gets so excited and they're like, oh my gosh, you made it better for me. They just want to give you something. And that's where I'm going with this. Um, so they use money currency. And, um, you know, a lot of times it's a barter or a uh, reciprocation of some kind. But it's learning this on digital 
platforms. Um, people get touched in their heart. They want to give you something in return for making a difference in their life. And that is the focus with a digital business. Um, you want to make an impact. And that's what Legacy Builder does. It pulls something out of you to get so excited and you make your first sales and you think, I want this for everybody because it's like finally not so labor intensive, not killing yourself. Finally, you get to do something that you feel good about and you also get to have a life and spend time with your children and spend time at home and work on your beautifying your home and beautifying your mind mostly. For me, I, I don't have young children, but I do relate to that because I, um, I used to help people with their children and be around children and at the resort I help children even understand money and how to get candies by helping clean up yards with um you know at the time it was a resort and there was beer bottles and liquor bottles all over it, messing up the place and I would say to the kids youth there's money everywhere just pick up bottles and the next thing you know they started their bottle collecting business and was able to buy their ice cream and candy that they really wanted and they just felt amazing it was funny watching them I loved watching them because it started with just um just a thing that they you know wanted a bag of candy and they couldn't afford a dollar bag of candy and the next thing you know it over a year of the summer it turned into some big thing they didn't even really want to buy the candy after they were just proud that they were doing all this stuff cleaning up and um, helping others and and just the excitement of seeing how much money they would get from all this cleanup and then later I heard I bought these really nice shoes you know shoes are a big thing right now and they're really expensive um, now they were looking at bigger things so that they could buy these cool runners for school or I don't remember what the some of the other things were but um, they had bigger goals and that was in, and it, it was funny and it just started with a dollar bag candy and an idea well how could they do this you know I always think well how can I do this without asking or borrowing or um you know how can i do it myself and, and there's lots of stuff kicking around like you can go clean yards you can cut grass you can do something of value for another person and with the legacy builder program you can share an idea that gives value to make it to show others how they can create with an idea and a learning that benefits so many people to grow and develop to be able to then go from a bag of candy to bigger things like cars and houses and real estate and uh, just feeling better legacy builder is transformational and when you start looking at it from etheric I used to read Joe Vitale's Spiritual Marketing. That was one of the best books I ever read. And uh, A Pocket Full of Money was another book I read. When it just, it's developing the mind. Legacy Builder develops your mind. And when your mind gets out of being frazzled or disappointed or angry or just feeling sorry for yourself or coming from a place of the world stomping on you or you're just so sick and tired of being sick and tired or you're so broken it gives you the tools well not the, really the tools the information and from the information it also gives you the tools to put that information into um, into effect and, and to take action with 
and as you're doing the steps and taking action you're growing in your belief and becoming and the more you believe and become and the more you're offering this um, new experience to others because they really do want this experience um, it's just trying to explain and get it across because we live in a world where if it sounds too good to be true then it's a, it's a scam well Legacy Builder isn't a scam but that's the other thing there's so much bad products out there bad books even bad music and bad uh media that now it's even harder because now you have to decipher and filter but a nine hundred dollar investment again even if you can get in at a hundred i went with the lowest one because i was sick of getting ripped off and i went in to research and when i researched i went oh my god this isn't too good to be true this is actually really good good stuff because um, I'm a studier and researcher that's all I do I'm more a in the mind person and I knew I had to um, start applying my intelligence and my mind uh, to become practiced in the physical I need to practice speaking I need to practice doing I've been away from this stuff for three years it was a really good way to get back in motion again. My only struggle right now is um, because I'm so used to working hard all the time, even though I've let go of the job, um, I still find myself keeping busy from the time I wake up till the time I go to sleep doing physical things, you know, like physical money, physical things. Now I need to have time to take my mind and put it into um, this business and social media and typing on my computer I need computer time and I just have to take one thing and turn it into another a lot of the physical things I'm doing that I keep busy with um, they're not a super priority except for building the addition for the tiny house that I'm working on for winter and um, anything that, that's related to preparation. Um, that's it. The other things I'm doing really could just be packed away and put away and some time can be gained from that. There's no urgency. And that's what you need to do too sometimes is sit down and ask yourself, how can I come up with this $900? Where am I spending my money? so that I can make an investment in myself. And then once you make the investment in yourself, then you sit down and look at time the same way you just looked at how to free up and make money. And you ask yourself, well, how can I free up some time to give myself two hours a day that is a more um, purposeful and productive and uh, investment toward uh, something better that's going to duplicate and replicate and because our system is automated and it's just putting in the two hours a day to get up some some digital real estate um, get some information out there that keeps working for you 24 7 I make this video once I put it up and it's up there all the time for people to see and it was a one-time effort instead of this physical efforting over and over again like washing dishes on and that just it's it's a never-ending story there's always dishes there's always dirt on the floor to sweep there's always um things that garbage needing to be taken out um you know it's the it's looking at your schedule and saying okay these are important they happen all the time they have to be done but you know, sometimes we, we say to ourselves, well, how can we make time? So we might go buy a used dishwasher. Okay, they're, they're saving an hour every day of dishes. Just throw them in, let them accumulate for two days if you're a single person, and hit the dishwasher every second day and, and let it run. Um, laundry. Imagine if we were still washing laundry by hand. But we just throw it in the washing machine. We learn to schedule it. Um, so 
that while the washing machine's do going, we can be sweeping the floor, um, doing the laundry all at the same time, multitasking, and we start to get efficient at a routine. Well, legacy builders like that too. You start to fit it in. First, you have to understand what it's about, learn why you're learning it, what you're going to get out of it, and then you fit it into your life because you see that it's valuable. Once I learn this stuff, get the videos up, get the website running, which is just a few clicks because it's all done for you. But those clicks matter. It's like, how are you going to have a house if you didn't take the time to put the foundation down and put the walls up in the roof? Once you get that far, everything goes good. But if you just keep dreaming about it, nothing's happening. You have to take a step of action. Um, if you don't have the property to do it, take a step of action by going to look at the property. That's like a, starting a business. You can think, oh, I'd love to have my own business. I want to get out of this rat race. Well, you have to take a step and try it. Start with something. I mean, this legacy builder thing is really good for any person interested in starting a business um, because it's a one-time investment and no monthly expenses. And you learn everything that you would learn in college um, at your own pace, at your own time. Most importantly is how to, you know, until you can get up and going, you can use this as a tool to arrange your day and arrange your life um, so that you can. That's very important. I mean, you can buy all the businesses in the world of every different shape and size, but first you need somewhere to learn um, what it takes to run a business to set up time time to run a business um, set up the mind thinking for a business learn and understand the product you're selling um, and if you are bringing people on a team um, like or hire people in a business you have to first understand how your business works before you could tell anybody else what they're going to be doing in a in in, in your business um, Legacy Builder is a low investment way to start learning a new way of thinking, a new way of doing things, and, and a new opportunity for you to go from traditional job, whatever, to a online business um, and start building a life around a different thinking, a different way of life, a different way of doing things. And when you start doing that, you awaken your creative mind because that's like etheric that's like digital <laughs> um you start it opens your mind to so much so you start with legacy builder and you can keep growing in it and doing it forever and then you can expand on it build more products then build your own uh system if you want or even start getting into back into physical things like buying real estate or starting something that you've always wanted to do. But this is your um, stepping stone and you're not reinventing the wheel, which is hard. You don't have to make your own product or do anything. It's a business in a box. You just take it and you run with it. Learn it, learn it and just grow in it. And from there, like anything, um, you start expanding ideas, thoughts, and things uh, that you want to do. And, you know, it starts like anything. You want to go on a vacation. Well, then you start researching places to go for a vacation. You want to have a good experience. So you start calling around and trying to get the best deal. Um, and you look into all the things that are required to go on a vacation, like getting your passport and uh, booking hotel rooms. Um, it, it applies to, it's like anything. Um, your first time, like uh, running your first business, you want to start with something that um, isn't too expensive, a low risk. You want it to be something you can work in because you don't know as you're making the transition how much time you're going to have. Some people get in and go, oh my God, I didn't realize how much time this was going to take in a traditional business, even this business. you got to practice into it and you're going to have to make adjustments and you're going to have to make some 
So, uh, do a little thinking on how you can fit, make this work and fit in your life. But the only way change is going to happen is by doing something different. You can't. Nothing will change if you keep doing what you're doing over and over again. But if you get something new and start doing it over and over again in a new habit, then you're going to start seeing different results. And that's all I have to talk about today. It's not a very well organized thought, but it's mostly where I was going about with this is thinking of digital as creative um, ideas, ideas that are creative that turn into things um, instead of you need this piece of paper to do this product thing. Um, when you start forgetting the, the physical stuff, all of a sudden the doors open and instead of looking at $900 paper cash, your mind starts to think, well, what can I do? And let's say you cleaned out your house and said, oh, I've put all this stuff on the marketplace. And because you weren't thinking about the paper or the amount, you just knew you needed close to a grand, um, you get in the process of cleaning up and doing and oh my gosh, it's when when the house is getting clean. Um, kind of like the bag of candy, you had a starting thing in mind and it became bigger. Maybe you make $3,000. So now you can do the legacy building program and have a nest egg so you can buy some time or um, buy a whole bunch of groceries and free cook ahead of time and put the food in the freezer so that instead of cooking you could also just pull the stuff out and heat it and learn the legacy builder program and find different ways to make time and money out of thin air <laughs> out of junk that you know has been laying around but you just see it differently and you go wow oh, you know I wanted this at one time but the, the, the novelty or the idea has passed or the use has passed but somebody else might want it and you can flip these things and throw them back into the into the the pool of wealth out there and help others and help yourself go into something new um, you're past that stage you don't need those things you learned and grew with them pass them on to somebody else at a good price or give them away and um, who knows giving things away people offer you money and giving things away people offer you other things you need um, and next thing you know at your life it's getting that old stagnant air moving and uh, starting to create new energy a legacy builder creates new energy and offers you the ability to transform a rut or a funk or a difficult uh, transition in your life into something positive and in a new direction. If anything, some people even invest in psychiatrists or counseling. Um, I would say join Legacy Builder and put your mind into learning something new that is um, of good value and uh, that's really all the mind needs when it's even going through things such as mental health or even uh, physical health issues um, sometimes you need a good distraction you can distract yourself with garbage information out there or entertainment but it's not going to do anything for you or even help you heal for that matter the legacy builder not only will give you a business to earn income and a, a, a vehicle, a vessel to, to transform your life in so many ways. It's also going to shift you. So have a very beautiful day thinking about how you can positively transform and shift your life and turn something from nothing into something beautiful.